Buffer Shuffler was originally created for the first release of Macs for Live and has been one of the more popular devices from the original release. You can still get the original Buffer Shuffler by navigating to Ableton.com and selecting Your Packs, Compatible Packs and then select Max for Live from the All Types menu. We then want to download and install Max for Live Big 3. For all of your buffer shuffling needs, the original buffer shuffler is flexible, easy to use and very efficient. For the launch of Live 9, we've created a new version of buffer shuffler. Introducing Buffer Shuffler 2. The first thing to do is download and install it. If you haven't done so already, head on over to your Ableton account and grab the Max for Live Essentials pack. Install this and you should be good to go with Buffer Shuffler 2.0. Buffer Shuffler 2.0 still has all of the capabilities of the original Buffer Shuffler, but we've added a number of new features. Let's take a look. Buffer Shuffler 2.0 has a built-in preset saver. It automatically stores the current state of Buffer Shuffler 2 in the selected preset slot. You can select presets by clicking one of the numbered buttons and it will recall the set installed in that preset. By default, Buffer Shuffler 2 contains no presets and any presets you create are stored by Buffer Shuffler 2 in the live set it is loaded in. If you want to recall a specific preset you've created in Buffer Shuffler 2 in multiple live sets, then you'll need to save that instance of Buffer Shuffler 2 as a device preset. Okay, now we've loaded up our Buffer Shuffler 2 with some great new settings all saved in each of the preset slots. We can change the presets using our mouse, or we can take advantage of Live's automation to MIDI or key map the preset selector. For fun, we're going to automate the change of these presets with another Max for Live device. Let's load up the Max for Live LFO. You'll find it in the Max for Live Essentials pack. Let's set the LFO to change the presets in Buffer Shuffler 2.0. You can really get some great sounds by experimenting with this setup. In the next video, we'll look at some of the new editing features in Buffer Shuffler 2.0.